Hey guys, welcome to Raptor Tube. This is a leaf insect, Philium giganteum, and it's got a bit of growing to do, obviously. And it's the autumn leaf colour. They're usually green. Actually, I don't. I'm not sure if this is Philippinus. I'll have to ask Dave about it. I can't remember, but it's definitely Philium leaf insects. Absolutely awesome little things. I can't, I'm obviously not going to be able to get it to, to focus now. But, uh, what are you doing, little buddy? He's waving. <laughs> He's waving at me. Aren't you? Come here, look. You want to go climbing? There we are, sound. So, yeah, in um, this episode, really, I'm just going to go over what arrivals I've had. Obviously you saw the unboxing video from Sam. Well that day I was contacted by Dave. I'll pop his Instagram down in the uh, in the in the description. And uh, he was looking to um, downsize his, his collection of phasmids. So there's a fair bloody few including the stuff that I got from Sam is over there. Now he gave me a massive massive mesh uh, enclosure with just tons and tons and tons of uh, of stick insects in there. So green bean stick insects, the um, the calcarata, and uh, what else is in there? I got some sun gaia and expectata, which is the sunny stick insects. These guys in here, which are the perufasma shorty. These guys beer, this is a trio I got of these. The philium, so the, the leaf insects. Uh, he brought uh, new bloodlines for my W roaches. He brought uh, some pairs of um, giant hissing, Madagascan hissing cockroaches. Just a top, top bloke dropping over. Luckily, obviously, lives quite close, not too close, but quite close. So thanks, man, for, for bringing them all over to me. We have got absolutely tons and tons and tons. Now, I did a, a bramble walk last yesterday afternoon, and overnight they look like they just stripped them. So I'm going to pop this little guy back now, and uh, I'll show. Oh, look at him doing a little warm at me. <laughs> so I pop this little guy back, and um, I'll have a go through another quick um, bits and bobs. I'll put like a montage together, like an 80s montage, and um, you get to see them. They're so cool, man. Thank you. Look at all these guys hiding out, man. So there's a one, two, three, four, and four pairs in there. And these boys All of them just chilling out. Loving hiding under this stuff. <laughs> the spiny. Pumped in. I could only go. Yeah, then the one come up, you know. Even the meat, do we still hold on? Go on. We've got good grips. Fair play. We've got a good grip. And it's the big green bean. You can see the size of my hand, look. Ah, it's perspective now. Let me pop this camera down then so I can get rid of these. <laughs> uh, I managed to get them all off me, I think. They're all crawling kind of up here now. But they're mental things, man. I love them. They're well cool. Let's see if I can uh, get this green bean stick insect out for a bit. She's dropping eggs as well. Hope so. They're well cool. There we go. So now you can see the size on it. Let me try and focus in. Here we are. What should I don't want her to drop at all. So let it climb back on. With the friends, look. Ah, uh, don't focus. Focus, focus, focus. Uh, big girl. Fair play. Big, big girl. What are you doing hanging there, look? Could it just hang in there? 
to give you a hand well. I know why, because there's a um, there's another one there, he doesn't want to walk over. Where are you going, darling? Are you struggling now just to find somewhere to grab hold of you? There's another one there. So if I move you to like um over here look where there's more bramble for you to uh, grab onto. You should be sound now. But see the acrobats man, they don't uh, they hardly fall. Oh, they are wicked man. And then these ones here are the uh, Perufasma Shorty. And I went out and got them some privet today. And it was a lot easier to find than I thought it would be. And mine's the crap on my desk. I still haven't still got to clean this room out. So there's hair there. I'm not, uh, So yeah, there's a pair. And these guys are the defense mechanism. They spray. There's another pair here as well. You can see them. Just there. Uh, female at the top, male at the bottom. This guy on his own beer at the top. That's Tiny Rick. He's there. Tiny Rick! And he, seem, he seems to be and he seems to be on his own. So everyone else is paired up. But he's just like a little runt kind of hanging around the place. <laughs> So he's, he's my favourite tiny break. And in other news, spider news, um, my Selenocosmia Ansty mature female has molted and the real good news is, is that the mature male that I had as well is still alive, so look out for that breeding video in the future. That's going to be a real, real mental one. Uh, this is what happened the last time I tried. Whoa! Now as well, You'll, you've probably seen when I was doing the enclosure build that the big frame for uh, the Nephila has, has gone. And there is a reason behind it. And no, she's not dead. So every morning I was, I was noticing that she was starting to get like dehydrated and curl up. Now the thing is, in this room, unless it's inside an enclosure, it's very difficult to keep humidity. It's a dry, dry room. So I had to be spraying her like every, you know, every couple of hours. So four or five times a day and you know and that's just not kind of um it's not good for me and it's definitely not good for the spider so i popped in a giant rub uh, a really useful box and that's just there as well by the chilies and she's you know what she's doing much 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 better so uh, she's actually utilizing bits and bobs and uh, i'm happier now ha having her in there um than having her not doing so great probably next time what i'm going to do i'm still going to keep a free roaming but i think i will make a, a framed bottom with kind of a substrate layer on it and hang it um just to give some relative kind of humidity there's also a water bowl in there now as well and i haven't seen her use it but it gives some kind of relative humidity you know what i mean uh what else do we have Tiny, tiny, tiny is looking fat as. Um, so fingers crossed. It's been two two months since the breeding. Temperatures should be now good for me to send that male um, to the next person, the the therapostomy. So that should be in the post next week, providing that the temperatures are over five degrees in the UK. Again, now people, this is your chance. 
to hit that top tier of the Patreon, um, there is a new T-shirt being made. So um, basically what happens is every couple of months, a new T-shirt gets created. Um, once that new T-shirt is created, you have the opportunity then to buy the old T-shirt, obviously, without the Patreon stuff on it. Um, you could have unfair, isn't it, otherwise? Um, so, for as little as like $3 a month, you get access to the Discord. Uh, Discord's a pretty cool place to hang out, man. Um, what else is three is five bucks a month. You get a shout out on the channel for five, uh, five bucks. And then for 25 bucks a month, then you'll get a t-shirt and everything else. Um, bear in mind as well, right, that I'm bound to be inundated with probably hundreds or thousands of nymphs of these, of these stick insects. So as a Patreon member, you will probably end up receiving some stick insects as well. <laughs> Everyone, stay safe, man. Um, look after yourselves out there. It's going to be a rough couple of weeks. Take care.